Now, if I give you an example right at the beginning of the video, that let us say in the year one of my YouTube channel, my subscribers grew at the rate of 10%. Year number two, my subscribers grew at the rate of 12%. Year three, at the rate of 15%. Year four, at the rate of 18%. And year five, at the rate of 38%. Now, I'm sure after listening to all these figures, you might be feeling very excited that, wow, her growth is, her subscriber growth is increasing very rapidly. But then me as a channel owner, I would be interested to know that on an average, annually, by how much percentage my subscribers grew. So instead of taking five different figures for taking the increase in my subscriber base, I would be interested to know just one single figure, which is a representative figure of the growth in number of subscribers. This representative figure for growth is nothing but CAGR. To know about CAGR in detail, including financial examples, check out the full video. Hi guys, C.A. Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to my C.A.G.R. video. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I had asked you whether I should make a separate video on C.A.G.R. or not. And so many people had requested me to do this video. So I thought I should make this video. In fact, in the previous Saturday's video, which was on SBI cards, uh, that time I had promised you that I will release this C.A.G.R. video within one week and I'm keeping my promise. It's exactly one week and I'm releasing this video on C.A.G.R. So to understand the meaning of CAGR in a very simplified manner, understand that CAGR is actually a representational figure. It's not the true average of anything. Whenever we calculate CAGR, a basic assumption is that whatever profit I get is reinvested at the same rate of return which I was getting. So I'll give you a simple example. Assume that I invest 100 rupees today, okay? At the end of one year, let us say rate of return is 10%. At the end of one year, I will be getting 110, correct? If I were to calculate CAGR, my basic assumption is that that additional 10 rupees which I have got, I have an opportunity to reinvest this 10 rupees at the rate of 10% only, okay? Now, what is my principal amount? My principal amount is not 100 in year one, but in year one, my principal amount is 110. I'm sure this is sounding similar to something. And what is that? Yes, you guessed it right. That's nothing but compound interest. To know the connection between compound interest versus CAGR, let's continue with the next discussion. Remember the formula for compounded interest, which we had learned way back in standard 5. We used to be taught in school that FV is equal to PV into bracket 1 plus R raised to the power N. I'm sure for those who hated mathematics are going to quit the video at this very moment. Okay, but try to hang on. Even if you have not liked maths earlier, you have to like finance because it's all about money. So just stay tuned, okay? So let me repeat it. FV is equal to PV into bracket 1 plus R raised to the power N. Now, if I were to calculate CAGR, CAGR means basically I have to calculate how much is R, okay? So FV is equal to PV into bracket something, okay? So mathematically, if I were to take PV to the LHS, then what happens? FV by PV is equal to 1 plus R raised to the power N, correct? Now this raised to the power N on RHS, if I were to transfer it to LHS, it becomes raised to the power 1 by N. Wow, I'm getting the feeling of being a mathematics teacher today, right? So now what has happened? FV by PV raised to the power 1 by N is equal to 1 plus R. Fair enough? Now what is the meaning? I want to calculate R. So I take this 1 to the LHS now. So what will happen? My final formula will be FV divided by PV raised to the bracket 1 by raised to the power 1 by N minus 1 is equal to R. That's the formula for CAGR. But guys, if you have understood this, CAGR is nothing but compounded interest formula and we have just shifted LHS, RHS components from here and there. It's as simple as compounded interest. Now that your mind is heated up with the CAGR formula, which is nothing but a modified version of your compounded interest formula, let us try to understand what are the practical applications of CAGR. If you are trying to do fundamental analysis of any company's balance sheet or P&L, the very first application generally which people love to check out is what is the percentage growth of the return on equity or return on capital employed. So let us say 
like in year one, the shareholders, uh, the, the promoters were able to generate a return on equity of let us say 10 percent. Next year they were able to generate a return of 12 percent. उसके बाद they were able to generate 14 percent. Then me as an investor, I feel that okay, 10 percent in year one, 12 percent in year two, 14 percent in year three. Give me a representative figure that on an average, yearly, how much return on equity are they generating? If I were to calculate this representational figure, figure that is nothing but I am trying to calculate CAGR. Okay. One more example. If I were to calculate how much is their growth in revenue? Let us say year one they grew at they grew their sales at the rate of twenty percent. Year two they grew their rate at twenty eight percent sales. Year three they grew their sales at let us say forty two percent sales. Again same thing. Agreed. Year one, year two, year three data I do have with me. But if I were to check out on an average per year how much did how much percentage sale were they able to grow? That is nothing but calculation of CAGR for the revenue purpose. Okay, so that is it about CAGR, which can be used for business analysis. Question is, can I use this CAGR concept for my personal finance or not? And how to use CAGR in personal finance is what exactly we are going to do in the next section. So let's understand how CAGR can be used for personal finance. I'll give this as a very simple example, and you can use this to analyze, especially insurance policies, wherein you have to pay a one-time insurance. and you get a lump sum amount at the end of x number of years okay you might have heard so many policies wherein the insurance agent will tell you pay 2 crore rupees lump sum or pay 2 lakh rupees lump sum whatever in year 1 or year 0 today pay this lump sum amount and let us say that after 25 years you will get four times the money four times money in 25 years okay so let's take this example i am asking you to pay 2 crore rupees as a insurance premium today itself and after 25 years i'm going to give you 20 uh, after 25 years i'm going to get give you 8 crore rupees okay four times the money question is is this worth it or not okay i agree that insurance primarily has to be for reducing your risks and not for investment purpose i do agree that term plan is always better but unfortunately even today in indian mentality we look at insurance even from investment perspective so if you want to stick to the traditional approach then we need to calculate how much returns i am getting on my insurance policy for that you need to know how to calculate cagr in excel you can calculate cagr on scientific calculators as well but i am not i am not sure whether every one of you will have a scientific calculator or not so best way is to learn to calculate cagr in excel let's check it out right away So before going to the insurance example, let's check this simple example first, and then we will calculate the insurance example answer. Okay? So let us say I am talking about a case where in year two thousand fourteen I had invested ten thousand rupees in a particular mutual fund. In year two thousand fifteen, its value became twelve thousand, wherein I got twenty percent return. Okay? Very simple, twenty percent return. How I calculated this twelve thousand as compared to ten thousand rupees? Okay, then year in year two thousand sixteen the value became eleven thousand of that mutual fund. So I got got a minus eight percent return because twelve thousand got decreased to eleven thousand. In year two thousand seventeen the value became thirteen thousand. So now my return is year on year return is eighteen percent. Two thousand eighteen it became fourteen five hundred. So my year on return is twelve percent. Two thousand nineteen it became sixteen thousand. Year on year return is ten percent. looks good that my mutual fund is performing better on an average i'm getting good but if you ask me that give us a representational figure that on an average how much percentage return did we get on this mutual fund scheme for that we need to understand the cagr formula in excel can you tell me what is the present value present value is nothing but the value that you have invested and that is nothing but 10000 what is the future value future value is which you got at the end of the maturity let us say in our example maturity was at the end of 5th year so you got 16000 rupees okay so how do we calculate the cagr if you remember the formula i said is equal to fv divided by pv so what is fv 16000 divided by pv okay raised to the power and for that raised to the power i just press i know this might sound very childish for those who know this but for those those who don't know i am telling this you have to press the shift button and the caret sign which is above number 6 okay that is like raised to the power okay raised to the power 1 by n now raised to the power 1 by now what is n this is where maximum people go wrong in the formula for cagr i'll tell you how much they calculate 1 2 3 4 5 6 they'll calculate 1 by 6 that's wrong Whenever you are calculating CAGR, we have to calculate at the end of the year. 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम इयर जीरो टू इयर वन फ्रॉम इयर वन टू इयर टू 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 थ्री थ्री टू फोर फोर टू फाइव सो इट्स ओनली फाइव इयर्स एंड नॉट जीरो टू फाइव डोंट कंसिडर एज सिक्स नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन आर नॉट टू बी काउंटेड द रिटर्न आर टू बी काउंटेड ओके सो इट्स नॉट वन बाय सिक्स इट इज वन बाय फाइव आई टेल यू द लॉजिक वन मोर टाइम जीरो टू वन वन टू 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 थ्री थ्री टू फोर फोर टू फाइव ओके सो रेस टू द पावर वन बाय एन एंड एक दम टूवर्ड्स एंड आई से माइनस वन आई जस्ट हैव टू चेक वेदर आई गिवन इनफ नंबर ऑफ Yes, I guess I have given enough number of brackets, and if I say enter, and then I'll say put it as a percentage. Okay, it has rounded it off. Okay, let me just take it to two digits. So now, understand what is my analysis? On an average, this mutual fund gave me nine point eight six percentage returns. Now, does it become easy for me to to compare this return with an FD return? To compare this return with some other investment return? Otherwise, you can tell me twenty percent, minus eight percent, eighteen percent. All these variety of percentages does not help me in doing a single shot analysis. But with CAGR, it helps me to compare this return with some other investment return. I hope you have understood what is the interpretation of this nine point eight six. So let's continue with the insurance example. Okay, year zero that is nothing but today. Acha, many people don't understand this concept of what is year zero. Okay, so let's say you take out an insurance policy in the month of January two thousand twenty, that is today. So that is year zero. Versus, if you are talking about you have to pay insurance in December two thousand twenty, okay, that is like end of year one. So in that case, you could have mentioned here as year one. Okay, if you were required to pay this two crores. at the end of this calendar year but right now in our example we have to pay it at the end of year 0 okay so we are taking this year 0 amount in rupees is 2 crores so now let us understand how do we calculate it uh, how, how do we calculate the cagr year 0 2 crores is the investment year 25 at the end of 25 years we are going to get 8 crores in return P pv is 2 crores fv is 8 crores how do we calculate cagr is equal to you can say it with me is equal to fv divided by pv raised to the power 1 by n and how much is n n is 25 correct at the end of 25 years you are going to get this amount raised to the power 1 by 25 minus 1 okay just check whether all the inverted commas brackets all are in place or not enter and here i am just going to put it as a percentage okay you are going to get 5.7 percent return if this happens on an average okay Wow! Now it becomes so easy for me to take a decision whether I should be investing in this insurance policy or not. If your mindset is looking at insurance from investment perspective, okay, then this is definitely not a good uh, channel of investing your money. Rather than that, take a term insurance separately, which will be very cheap, and invest balance of your money, whichever is left with you, because term insurance is going to be very cheap. You can invest in so many other investment avenues. At a much higher rate as compared to five point seven percent. Okay, now a very 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 common mistake which people might do. Let us understand. Assume that this two crores you are required to pay at the end of the year, like I mentioned in December two thousand twenty. So here it will not be year zero, but it will be year one. Okay. Now if this is year one, at the end of year this year you are required to pay two crores, and if you are going to get twenty after twenty five years, if you are going to get eight crores. What will be n is the question now? Will n be twenty five? No, year n will be twenty four, because year from zero we have to shift. We have shifted to one. Again, might sound childish, but quickly I am going to do this for you. How twenty four? One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, twelve to thirteen, thirteen to fourteen, fourteen to fifteen, fifteen to sixteen, sixteen to seventeen, seventeen to eighteen, eighteen to nineteen, nineteen to twenty, twenty to twenty one, twenty one to twenty two, twenty two to twenty three, twenty three to twenty four, twenty four to twenty five. How much is that? Twenty four. This is where majority people goof up in CAGR. Okay, if it is year one, at the end of year one, then in this case I will have to do divided by twenty four. in this case my return will be 5.95% cagr okay so whenever you want to evaluate any investment option wherein lump sum return a uh, lump sum investment and lump sum return is con uh, considered cagr is i feel one of the finest tools available for you to analyze your investment i hope you have understood how to calculate cagr in excel i hope you like this video and uh, you know uh, i was just 
thinking a lot uh, in the previous week uh, after the new year started uh, i i was just thinking that why i started my youtube channel and how it has grown over the past one year it's all thanks to you all uh, your love support that you have given to me uh, i'm motivated to do more and more videos but i was actually wondering i was asking to myself as to why am i running this youtube channel is there any why behind this uh, channel or it's just that i'm making videos without any motive uh, when i sat down and i asked myself all these questions i found out few answers that i started this channel with a primary motive of increasing financial literacy in india in fact there was a newspaper article which said that only one out of three literate people in india are financially literate the literacy rate itself is so low and on top of that if only one third people are financially literate then i feel there is so much more to be achieved and i thought that i should give my own little contribution towards building a financially stronger india and if you also dream the same way in which i do i feel that you should uh, share this video with more and more of your friends so that you also help me to achieve my dream of making more and more people financially literate uh, my dream is that people should take their financial decisions in a much informed manner rather than taking their financial decisions just based on tips so let's aim that by 2022 we don't just celebrate 75 years of independence but we do celebrate 75 years of financial independence as well okay so i hope you have loved this concept if you have let me know in the comment section that's it from my side जय हिंद बाय बाय